What's up guys, Baker here. Um, this tutorial is basically a loading screen version 2. A um, couple people asked for this on the Trippin' on Vodka episode 4. Got this cool little loading screen that had a quick little animation in. Check it out. Bing, bing, and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to show you how to create the basics of this. Maybe, yeah. Uh, spark your imagination to make some cooler stuff but um yeah that's about it all right so um we're gonna make this in our own new comp so make a new comp and uh it could be the same frame rate as your main comp so that that could be good and you can rename it but i don't feel like it right now first thing we're gonna do is type some text at the bottom say edit by baker and this font is called the bank gothic i think it looks pretty nice kind of futuristic almost. Um, I just think it's very sleek. And we'll duplicate it, slide it over, and this one will be song dot, and then I don't know, like super cool guy, man. You know, of course you'd write your real song. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of make it the same height and put them on the sides like that, all right. Now we're gonna make a new solid, and okay. And we'll put this on the bottom. Now with it selected, go to your pen tool and then click over here and across and then through it and then across and then don't close it off, just click in the timeline somewhere. So we get not a enclosed mask, just like a, a path really. All right, so what we're gonna do is search up stroke. We're gonna generate stroke on the solid and we get a line, so that's cool. Probably make the brush size like four, thicker. Now they're not, you know, perfectly uh, flat and stuff. So you can uh, take your selector tool thingy and select the point, and then use your arrow keys to kind of move this up and down until you get a pretty much nice looking thingy. So just kind of mess with, mess around with that. So. Um, up and down that looks relatively straight so that, that's pretty cool and uh, mm, probably actually want to make these you can actually select more than one by holding shift move the whole thing down one kind of close close down to the, uh, the text so kind of a little bit sleeker kind of like that all right cool and um, I'm gonna make a new solid and uh, we'll make it white, okay. And then we will just scale it down. Let's make like a uh, like a bar looking thing. Oh, there we go. Just about that size. And we'll push P and scoot it up to the top, just like so. All right. Um, we'll put one more text on the top. This is going to be our title text. So let me turn down the opacity of this one, maybe like 25%. All right, so this text up here will say main title name episode one. So uh, we'll take this and just, you know, scale it up. Fits pretty nicely. Centered it. And uh, you can bring up your title action safe so you can make sure it's all nice and centered. All right, so let's, uh, oh, one more thing. New solid, okay, generates a grid. Oops, gris, what's a gris? Grid, okay, we get some lines. So I'm gonna go to uh, width and height sliders. And the width can be super long, maybe like 2,000, twice the comp. So uh, if we scoot this over to the left, you won't see it. All right, and then the height, I can bring it down to like, I don't know, 10. And then make the border a little bit smaller, maybe like oh, three. So I want to zoom into 100% here. Get these cool little lines, maybe even smaller too. Okay. Um, I can't even see them. Well, basically, I'm going to turn these down. What's the grid down? Maybe 50%. All right. So let's start animating this in. So I'm going to go about one one and a half seconds in and I'm gonna animate the text out so the these two push P for position 
keyframe both of them, move to the beginning, and we'll slide the edit by to the left, and then the song to the right. So what that does is it slides it in from the sides, and boom. And we can easy ease these, of course. Now the line, I want it to kind of animate and draw on from the side, so search up a linear wipe on the black solid that we made, and we're just going to wipe it just like that. So at the end, keyframe it at zero, move backwards, and keyframe it at 100, and that just looks like this. Sweet. All right. Um, the thingy, the big main bar at the top, what I'm going to do for that is have it, that was a grid, this one, the big thick one. P for position, keyframe, move backwards, animate it up and away. So kind of get an idea here. Things are just sliding in. Probably easy ease that one too. The uh, main title text, I'm going to have this with a decoder fade in on the main title. So what that does is uh, push you for the keyframes and you can slide them over. So it just kind of types types in the text. So, kind of cool. Probably even fade in the grid too, opacity. Keyframe, move backwards, zero. So it comes in. And that's about it. So when we use it in our thingy over here, so you can use it in the beginning or when he's uh, twixtered in slow motion. That's what I did, so I thought that was cool. You just bring it out here. Probably you want to set this to uh, overlay. Hmm, why is it so dark? Well, that's kind of interesting. Is it this black solid? Oh, for the black solid on the stroke, we're going to go to on transparent. There we go. So, it'll, there we go. So, um, probably want to make this. Uh, with some CC lens. Let's see, yeah. CC lens. So it's kind of curved. Probably like 400. Probably want to duplicate it. Okay, so it's pretty, a lot brighter. Coming in. Well, welcome to the future. Probably want to make the top bar a little bit brighter. So uh, go into this. Opacity, and that was the grid. Here's the main bar. T for opacity. And boost this up 25, or 50, sorry. So, bright top thingy. Now the name is kind of hard to see now, so what if we change the name to black? So let's see what that looks like. Experimenting here, make it black. Oh, look at that, now it's craziness. Main title episode one name person. All right, but that's um that's basically my loading screen. Basically, you got your name, you got your thingies and thingy. It probably look better with color correction, but just wanted to show you that really quick. How the lines animate in and the text and the, the screen and the bars and stuff. And I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting. Well, that's about it, guys. So uh, go ahead and like, favorite, comment, all that cool stuff. If you want to see more stuff, let me know. Check out my edits and thingies. And that's it. Peace.